Meat Boy is back. Today we are making my favorite meal of all time, a bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. As soon as I had my own money, when I was working in college, I would either go to a deli or McDonald's to get some type of bacon, egg, and cheese. I love it so much. And the way we're going to make this healthy is simply by using high quality ingredients. And for most of you, this isn't really going to be a matter of something you would really eat on a consistent basis. You know, you could increase the quality of the ingredients even further to do that. And this could also be something to feed your family members, just improve the quality of what they're eating on a frequent basis. The main reason I say that is because we don't really have ideal ingredients. You know, I've made my own bacon in the past, usually use raw grass-fed butter and corn-free, soy-free eggs from a local farm. You can make your own ketchup, that's not that big of a deal. I actually did find a decent quality sourdough bread and this is raw cheddar cheese from Frankie's Free Range of Meat. So we're kind of halfway there, but you know the main components, the bacon, the eggs, and some of the butter, it's not ideal. At least the bacon's organic, so we remove some negatives. It's probably still high omega-6, it's imbalanced fat-soluble vitamin profile. It'll work for a temporary meal. Uh, the raw cheddar from Frankie's Free Range Meat, I mean, you're not really gonna get a higher quality grass-fed cheese. This is high in all the fat soluble vitamins, B vitamins, K2, probably the most nutritious thing we have here today. We're using Kerrygold because we don't have butter from the local farm. Raw is less taxing on our digestive system. But since we're using so little in cooking the eggs, it shouldn't really matter that much. And I actually ordered omega-3 eggs and I told them not to substitute them, but they sent me these anyway. Uh, so these are definitely not ideal eggs. Normally, you would see all of the water-soluble and fat-soluble vitamins in eggs in addition to good amounts of preformed omega fatty acids. In the case of these eggs, you might not feel so good eating them, but uh, we're gonna use them anyway because it's better than what my family eats most of the time. Organic ketchup, you can make yourself, but there's not gonna be that much of a difference. And normally I would say, you know, making your own bread does make a huge difference, but this company, Bread Alone, is basically doing what I would do with bread, except you know, you could grind and mill the flour yourself. Uh, that would be the real improvement that you can make from this. But this is still really good because it's a natural sourdough fermentation. So all we're going to do is dice up the bacon, grate the cheese. I like my eggs over easy, so that's how we'll do them. And I would actually prefer a soft roll, but, uh, you know, when you're trying to just get a quality bread with good ingredients, you don't really have the luxury of choosing the shape or formation of the bread. My only pet peeve about bacon, egg, and cheese is usually in the delis, they'll give you like a small piece of bacon and it's whole. So you end up taking one bite of the sandwich and then there's no bacon on the rest of it because you get a whole mouthful of bacon and that's it. So what I did was I just diced up the bacon and we're gonna just render it down into basically bacon bits and then we'll crumble that on the sandwich. This pan on the right here, we're gonna put on medium heat and do some over easy eggs. So the main trick here to get a pan to not stick is to really rub the fat in with a rag or something. It kind of like gets that butter in all the grooves and nooks and crannies of the pan so when you put the eggs in, they don't stick. So you just really rub that butter in pretty aggressively with a rag and then you should be pretty non-stick. Yeah, it makes a mess of whatever you're using, but that's worth it. All we can do for the bread is butter each side, and then I'll just put it on the oven rack to toast. So just really thin layer of butter on here. Two eggs in the pan. For the bread, I'll just put on the oven rack, butter side up. Low broil should be good. Eggs are already cooking a little too much, so we'll flip these. So our eggs are actually pretty much done. Just let them sit for another minute or two. We just got to render out all the water and the fat that's in the bacon. So I'll take my eggs out and I'll do a few more. Golden brown, crispy. You could pretty much stop it here if you wanted to, or you could go further. It depends on how crispy you want it, but you know, this is a good mixture of, of crispy and soft. If you go any further than this, some of it gets like really hard. So let's check on the bread. A little warmed up. 
a little crispy, a little toasty, way too hot to be touching with my hands. So that bread is gonna be the bottom of the sandwich. And what we'll do is, so we'll take two eggs for each sandwich. Some bacon. And after you render down all that bacon, it's really only enough for two or three sandwiches, even though it's a whole pack. We'll sprinkle on the cheese. So I'm going to take two more pieces of bread, light spread of butter again. These will be the tops of the sandwich. And we're going to pop this back in the oven to melt the cheese and toast the top slices. I'm going to put this on like 400. That looks good to me. We have our nice toasted bottom piece of bread, top piece of bread. I'll put some ketchup on the top because I always used to get ketchup. Although I think I'd probably like this without ketchup. And especially with the quality of ingredients, ketchup kind of like dumbs it down a bit. But Uh-oh, our egg yolk in the back broke already. That looks pretty good. Classic. Reminds me of bodega. One of the main reasons the bacon, egg, and cheese is my favorite thing is because on its own, I really love runny egg yolks with salt on them. So this already has the egg yolk running all over it. So we'll dip that front of the sandwich in there. That looks good. I was like the best bite I've had all year. I mean, there's not really much to say. It's a bacon, egg, and cheese just made with slightly higher quality ingredients. So you want to be really careful with the ratio of, you know, cheese to bacon to egg because, you know, they can really overpower each other. Whereas in a regular, you know, bodega or deli, they're all kind of bland. So it's not that big of a deal if there's more than one or the other. As always, thank you guys for joining me. Uh, let me know what recipes you guys would like to see in the near future. I will see you guys for tomorrow's video.